Hey everyone, Les here. I just got off the phone with my dad and uh, he told me about something crazy that happened and he just seen it. He's 75 years old and he's never seen anything like this. So I'm gonna be jumping in my vehicle. I'm gonna fill up my coffee cup, take off. I've got about 45 minute drive. I wanna get down there. I wanna document this. I want everybody to see it. It's kind of sad, um, but I want you to see what happened. So let's get to driving. Okay, I'm just about to where I need to be. It's real windy out, uh, so I'll probably just do my talking in the vehicle and then uh, get out and show you the aftermath or the carnage. What happened about, I'm gonna say about 10 years ago, there was a big power line put through this country. Uh, the way they set it up, they had to use helicopters and they would set the towers on top of each other. And while they were doing it in this area, there was actually, there was actually, um, two people got killed in that deal. Uh, yeah, I see him up here. Anyway, what happened was there's a big power line coming through the country here and there must have been a flock of geese traveling through and they hit these power lines and my dad notified me and I see them all up here there's just there's dead snow geese and blues all over up here but my dad he counted 89 geese he said three of them flew off, and then there was one more walking, but he said the three that flew off, they all had legs hanging down, so they weren't in very good shape. And uh, what I'll do is I'll show you the show you the aftermath up here, but I'm gonna um, try to do, like I said, I just wanted to do the talking in the pickup because it, it's getting pretty windy um, outside. So I'll just drive up here and we'll go take a look at everything. Here's the power lines. And you can see the geese. Right here's one. But there is a ton of them up here across the fence. Man, there's a bunch of them. They hit the ground so hard that it just blows them wide open. Beautiful geese. Nice snow geese. Oh, there's a head. Cut one whole head off here. The goose's head. Blue. Boy, this one's ripped wide open. Wow. Look at that. And he's missing. Oh, it's, that's a little Ross. You can see all of them out here. Wow. You can see the power line. It just flew right into that thing. That is just sad. Wow. Some of them don't even look like they have any damage whatsoever. No broken wings, nothing. So it was probably dark and they were flying and just ran right into it and they'd losing their losing their sense of surrounding and probably just flew into the ground. Here's just a wing right here. 
hit the hit the line and it it ripped his whole wing off. Wow. My word. There's a snow goose, a Ross, a snow and a blue. Real quick video here. Just want to show you what's going on. We have a big power line here, right here by Edgar, Nebraska. And this flock of geese hit this power line probably last night, early this morning when it's dark. They're flying this way, going into the wind. So they would have been coming from the south, going to the north. And they flew into the power line and they started probably going straight up in the air and they started hitting. But as you can see, there's geese laying all over. Um, probably at least close to 100 dead geese here. So a uh, lot of geese laying down. I grabbed a few right here. I want to show you these. But what you have here is a snow goose, and this is a Ross goose. It's a it's a miniature version of a snow goose. Beautiful birds. Um, nothing wrong with it. Probably what happened was they 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 got into the power line. Hey, Jameson. They got into this power line, and they were probably flying up, and they were running into each other, and it just knocked them to the ground. A real sad deal. Um, I've seen one to two geese every now and then in my travels across the country. You can tell they hit a power line, but to see a whole wad of them uh, hit a power line like this, and then you have a blue goose right here. But there's some geese here that are missing wings. They've got their heads yanked off, and I'm just gonna go over in here and show you some of them. But you can see all of them here. Just a, a lot of dead geese here. Um, here's another one. This one is just absolutely destroyed. Um, blew his back out. He hit so hard, just it blew him wide open. <sighs> Sorry, I had a cold. No speckle geese. These are all just snows and blues. I saw a head over here. I want to go. I want to go see this real quick. Um, just a lot of neat, pretty geese right here. Here's a head. No other goose around, and you've got just a head here. Um, I don't. I, I haven't even seen the body. I don't know where that goose is at. Um, yeah, right here it is. Here's the goose that lost his head. So, um, just a sad deal. Um, you can see them all out there. Just geese all over. Yeah, there's going to be quite a few coyotes here, raccoons. We'll get, get uh, cold or warm this weekend. But you can see this power line right here. Um, but uh, <laughs> just sad. It's cold. It's miserable. My hands are freezing. Hey, Carla, how are you doing? You can see them all. There's just geese everywhere here. Yeah, Jerry, it is. Um, right here's a wing. Just one wing right here. Just a wing. So he he hit that power line, and it probably um, they were probably flying all over the place. Hit the power line, and it just he his wing blew off. You know, broke his bone. Andy, this is right by Edgar, Nebraska. Here's another goose with no head. It just took his head right off. And this was a blue goose. Yeah, it is, Carl. It's real sad, actually, seeing all of them here. And I'm going to turn around and show you all of them. There's just geese all over right here. You see them all, and it's just unreal. And right up there is the power line they hit. Hey, Joe, I haven't even checked for bands. Never thought of doing that. <laughs> I'm just kind of amazed at the carnage here. It's unreal. Uh, 
there's the, hey Tina, how are you? There's a there's another hill right over that. I went over there and I saw about um, I saw about five six more geese over there. And Dalton, that's in the pickup, he said uh, he come here earlier this morning. He said there's about ten to fifteen of them that uh, flew off this morning. Uh, there's at least 80 to 100 dead right now that we've counted. So there's just, there's geese everywhere. Yeah, the coyotes, the raccoons, red fox. There's always red fox right here in this uh, pasture. Um, yeah, Jennifer, I've never seen anything like this either. Uh, my dad called me this morning and he said, hey, you, uh, you ought to see this. I've never seen anything like it in my life, but you can see the power line right there. Hey Troy. No, Jason, I I've never seen this. Like I said, I've seen one or two get killed uh in power lines. Uh you, you'll notice Canada's or snows or blues, but to see 80 to 100 of them all in one spot here is just unbelievable. It's pretty pretty crazy. Yeah, they did chance. They were flying into the wind. The wind is coming out of the north, so they were flying into it. And I suppose whenever they got into the power lines, they started flying up, and then they started hitting them, and they would lose, you know, their wings, and they would just fall to the ground because it was probably dark, you know. But, uh, yeah, it's sad. It's really sad. Well, that was something, wasn't it? All in all, probably at least about 90 to 100 dead geese and then whenever uh, my dad and then the other person that was there earlier whenever they got here earlier this morning there was uh, about 15 of them that tried skedaddling off they were in poor shape though you know when you hit the ground that hard it messes your insides up so they probably are all gonna die broke their legs broke all kinds of things so anyway that's what power lines can do anyway have a great day hope you subscribe to my channel i hope you hit the like button i hope you enjoyed this and uh share this video and tell your friends about me i'm out of here